going to show you the cable cast on. This is similar to a knitted cast on. Um, and what I really like about it is, unlike the long tail, you do not need to wind off a large amount of yarn. So wind off just enough yarn to have a tail to weave in later and make a slip knot. You're going to put that slip knot on your needle. And this will count as your first stitch. Then you want to tension your yarn. Go in to that one stitch, front to back as if to knit. Wrap your yarn. Bring it through. And rather than transferring that stitch to the right-hand needle, you're just going to put that loop back on the left-hand needle. And there's two stitches. If you've worked the knitted cast on, this should look very familiar because this is exactly the first step of the knitted cast on. But for the cable cast on, rather than knitting into that first stitch, you want to take your needle, hopefully you can see this, and you want to insert it from the front to the back between those two stitches. Then you're going to wrap your yarn, pull that loop through, and put that stitch on your needle. So now you have three. And you can see it looks a little odd because that new stitch is kind of crossing over your second stitch. Um, again, don't worry. You do want to keep this a little on the loose side. So again, do not go through the stitch. Insert your needle between the first two stitches. Wrap your yarn. Catch that loop. Bring it through. Pull it up and put it on the needle. And you can see I'm pulling a pretty good size loop just to make sure uh, that I can get it loosely enough on the needle because you do want to leave enough space that you can comfortably insert your needle between those two loops. And again, we've inserted. We're going to wrap our yarn, catch the strand, pull it through, and on the needle. And I am just going to continue doing this until I have 10 or so stitches cast on. So again, I'm pulling it through, putting it on the needle. And it is also a great way to add stitches to the edge of a piece that you're already knitting. So again, go through on the needle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I knit eleven. That's okay. And then when you were done casting on, so this is what the cast on looks like. And you can kind of see that's a pretty beefy edge there. You're going to have that final stitch that looks a little odd because it's crossing over your second stitch. You're going to tension your yarn. Do not turn this. And then just knit across the row that you just cast on. So now I am just knitting the stitches that I've just cast on, and I'm going to show you what that looks like when I get to the end of the row. Okay, there is, I've cast on a row, I've knit a row, and you can see there's your knit stitches, and there's this very heavy edge of cast on stitches. It looks a bit like a cable. This edge is incredibly stable, incredibly sturdy. It's very good if you need to pick up stitches. If you're casting on anything that you know you need to pick up stitches on after, you can see you've got this nice thick row of stitches here, and they're really, really easy to pick up and knit into. So that is the cable cast on.